Ladies and gentlemen, I'm level 27 Marker Man, and this is Let's Play Paper Mario with... Hello everybody, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1. Am I am I supposed to say something? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll just I'll just get out of here then. I'll let you I'll let you do your own thing. Anyway, I'm Kibato, and I guess we're doing chapter two. So we're, so we're moving on with chapter three. Before that, though, the preview to chapter three. Uh huh. I think I made a vil I, in a story. I made I made a villain ba based on Bowser's personality in these scenes once. The, the single most greatest evil being in history. That's debatable, Peach. He's definitely the most persistent and definitely the most... Uh, immortal. Yeah, he's, he's an immortal, basically. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, oh, um, you got... Oh, that reminds me. You ever watch... You know, notice how in the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, Bowser always takes insults as a compliment? <laughs> I can see that. I can see that, too. He's often called his vileness. Yeah. In this. And we're about to see the most awesome star spirit of all. So, he So I so I guess you could say Bowser would fall under what TV tropes would call an insult backfire. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Anywho, Anyway, we heard about the invincible tubba blubba and stuff. But what makes him invincible? Right. Although, and apparently, he's the star was able to escape, making it the most awesome star spirit of them all, debatably. It almost rescued itself. Almost. And it has, like, the best star power. It almost rescued itself, and it almost <clears throat> made its way out of there and helped it out Mario on his adventure. But, if anybody knows anything, almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And this, and our channel. Second place gets to pick a race. Uh, and this is a peach section, so... And we're going for this. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show off the chest, the magical chest. Okay. It, yeah, it, I was about to say, wait, wait, this isn't the room we're supposed to be in. Uh, this is how you give treasures to Mario. Oh, okay. But you have to be careful. If you're going for 100%, because if you pick up an item with Peach and don't put it in this chest, you can miss it forever. Okay. So the next room Peach is supposed to go into is the library. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just showing this off. It's you, There's like three items I know of you can put in here. But you have to be careful when you pick it up to put it in the chest at some point. There's one badge, there's only one of it in the game. Like, the Deep Focus, there's plenty of those. But Deep, but, like, Power Rush? There's only one of those in the game, and you can permanently miss it. I'm a guard, duh, duh. I'm a guard, duh, duh. Oreo. Oreo. This is... Th does this remind anybody of Ocarina of Time? Sort of. It's reminding me of something else, though I can't put my finger as to what it is. And see that badge in the library to the, our left right there? That's the power rush. You can permanently miss that. Okay. The only- the other I way to get- the power rush. The only other way to get it is to just not pick it up with the princess. And just get it when you come here with Mario later. But why would you not pick it up? Because it's... Pr I don't know. You have to be careful. If, if the first time you're playing this game, and just think it to yourself, why, what reason would you not have to pick that up? Yeah. 
So I made well, that mistake. Okay. Well, maybe you weren't aware about it the first time you played. I, yeah, maybe that happened to me. I was trying to get all the badges in my like first file where I beat the game, and I couldn't because I ruined, I screwed it, screwed myself out of it. I will tell you that like um one thing Slim Kirby did in his playthrough that I won't even bother when I do when I play the game is trying to uncover all the recipes. New. No. <laughs> you uh you have either a time on your hands or you have a guide. Yeah, I did I, it I, in Thousand Year Door. I had a guide for that, I I will admit. Um yeah. But um I did not do it for this game. I do use some of the recipes, like the easiest ones to use to simplify my inventory a bit. Well, I, I don't bother going for all the recipes. I didn't even bother with the one recipe. I don't bother with that lady because yeah, that just you you have other use for other items anyway. You just yeah. Well, it, it, I actually find it best for con for consolidating your mushrooms and syrups together. That's the best use I found for it. Because that's really the only ones I remember. Oh yeah, we got caught. Cutscene. Oh yeah. If you oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Story. We you have to get caught this way. You can't get caught by anyone else. You have to get caught by them. Only, only after uh, a little bit of dialogue can you are you allowed to get caught. Like every other time you get caught. Nope. Meanwhile, you failed. What's her speech habit? Is it? Does she have a speech habit? Hearts, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Judging by the name Mamar, I, I wonder if the if the creators were watching Babar when they came up with the name. I can think of another reason for Mamar, but I'm not gonna bring it up. Uh, do I see it as Mamar. Am I the only one that sees it as Mamar? Like she's a mama. Oh, that, that like, a, like, that like a mama star. I like that one. Let's go with that one. Oh, okay. So maybe that's her talking as a mother, being like very motherly and such. Star poots away. Yeah. Oh right, this game doesn't put you back where you're supposed to be. You have to travel back by yourself through the desert. I've been through the desert on a Yoshi with no name. Okay, that's, that's, that's actually a question there. In RPGs, you know how sometimes um, when you complete a task, and they just kind of put you right back near like where you're supposed to go rather than just put you out of the dungeon or something and then you just go along your merry way? Sure. Which would you prefer, technically? Would you prefer just to be... I, I don't know. I don't know which one I'd prefer. Do you guys hear me? Yes! I don't hear Kabatu. Oh no, is it happening to him too? Either way, we gotta level up. We're ditching the dusty hammer. We're moving on. Yep, that's the best thing to do. Dusty Hammer is useless. Is pretty much useless. It does one damage to one enemy. And now we're going to Colorado. Remember that artifact we picked up last episode, Gold? Oh, okay. Well, ar uh, he likes to collect archaeological things. So if we give it to him, he'll give us a reward. A star piece! So, we're basically just going on our way out right now. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I, I don't know what happened to Kevin. And we're... 
Yeah, I, I figured we were in a dull part, so I could just type that in. Okay. Well, well, somebody's got to keep the commentary going. Yep. And for now, I'm just ditching all the enemies because I don't feel like fighting them. You know, you know it's too bad this game doesn't let you just warp back to Toad Town. Wasn't that a question that I was just asking a minute ago? Oh, oh. yeah. Some, um, something like that, yeah. Although, actually, it's kind of a good thing. See, I, I was trying to say, I could see a, a, a cons and pros in both ways. A pro for uh, traveling there is just that, okay, you're done here, move right along. But the other pro for the other way is that, oh, you ha you want to go back and do other things before you go back to town? Well, go ahead and do those on your way back. Yeah, yeah, like I gave that star piece to Colorado, for example. If they just yeah. worked us back to the beginning, it would have been even more annoying to do that. Also, there's th there's something that's coming up real soon. That if they just warped us back to Toad Town, it'd be kind of annoying. Trying to get. I'm getting a thing. Yeah. This. Super block. And we're going to upgrade Bomb It. Yeah, I had to reload everything, so the timing of my video might be off by quite a bit. 11, 43, 44, 45, uh, 46, 47, okay. 48. Okay. okay. Yep. All Close right. Enough. Close uh, enough for me. Yeah. It, 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 you're about to see why Bomet Super Rank is so freaking ridiculous. In, well, that's next episode, actually. Dang it. She gets Power Bomb, which is so ridiculous in this game. You, you spoiled it. You, you, spoil, you got us hyped for nothing. Why would you do that? But you don't know how powerful Power Bomb is. Yeah, you got us hyped to see Power Bomb, but you just said we don't see it in this episode. So now the hype's gone. Join us next time for Power Bomb. For our hype. Toad Town, Toad Town, my old land for Toad Town. And what the heck am I going to do here? I can't read my past mind very well. Uh, looks like you're maybe heading back to Star Hill. I'm going to no? check out some oh, no, badges you to... are available. Ooh, good one. Double dip. Double dip's a really good one. For Paper Mario, I don't think it really is as good in uh, Thousand Year Door. Yeah. Oh, but Triple Dip is actually the set, not counting Power j Bounce, is the most powerful attack in the game. That's if you actually arm yourself with actual attack items and not, exactly. just, uh, not just healing items. Yeah, but three but hey, six. But hey, I was right. You are here at Star Hill. Oh, yeah, and we're going to go into here. And remember that... Oh, what am I going to do first? I'm going to talk to her just to show what she does. Or not show what she does, just to... Just to say hi. How you doing? I I'm just showing off what she does. I'm not going to use it, I don't think. She basically tells Mer you where... Lo Mer lovely. Yeah, Mer lovely. She basically tells you where star pieces, badges, and super blocks are. For a price. For a price. If you're really helping out Mario to try and help save the world, you would not be charging a freaking price. Like, really, people. You're, you're, this is Mario. This is a guy that's trying to help save your kingdom and protect you and not have you be burnt or eaten oh, alive by gold, Bowser gold, and his attention. minions. Gold? If gold's not, gold's not there... <laughs> I guess he's not there. Oh no. Aw, he's gonna miss this part this here. Part. This is why I don't use tat this is why I don't use tattle. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Huh. 
It, it, what, how many batch points does it cost, actually? Three? Oh, gold, say something. Yeah? Oh, okay. Never mind. I, this, you're about to see the reason why I don't use Goombario that much. Okay. That Aside from equipping ha hammer throw. Badge. Did you see Did me get the peekaboo badge? Peekaboo badge. Oh, Did is you? the oh does um oh does that badge have the same ability that Goombario has? It, it reveals all enemies HP. Okay. Without having to waste a turn. Okay. That's why I don't usually use Goombario that much. Yeah, yeah. about Paper Mario, you kind of don't get any stats other than just showing HP. There's not like a booklet that lets you see other people's uh, like stats or whatever, their stories or dialogues or whatever. You just get, learn their HP and move on. Yeah. At least a thousand year door, it kind of feels like you're like learning more about a biography about them. And you're kind just... of there's like a collection thing to collect about them. Oh, hey, um, you know, this makes me wonder. Um, in your honest opinion, um, do you think uh, for a first time player, um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is easy enough to beat without the need of a guide? I did. I mean, that's not saying much, but. If you talk to people, you would have to talk to a lot of people. Okay. Like, a lot of in-game people. Okay. Yeah, don't, don't talk to people in real life. Talk to the game people. They know what they're doing. Oh, yeah, we're and this is a sewer episode. Hooray! This is also sewer. Not just oh, Peach, um, notice, not just... Notice we picked up... We, I put on Hammer Throw. There's a reason for this. To fight the Electro Blooper. It's just as strong as Power Jump. I don't want to bother with the jump timing. And uh, he can turn electric at some points. So, yay. So, sometimes. And, and see how we can see his HP? Yep. Okay, so, by the way, so the reason I uh, wanted to ask you if it was easy, if, if Thousand Year Door is easy enough without the need of a guide is because I'm trying to debate on if I should if I should actually order a game guide on Amazon before I actually start recording my Let's Play. Hmm. It depends. It depends really if you want to, like, experience it for the first time. And not only that, how, um, how much would you care to get like every single item and every single nook and cranny of everywhere in the game well in a, in a first playthrough i wouldn't care that much like if you're just doing a first time playthrough and you're just gonna like experience it for the first time it'd probably be better off not to use the guide the guide's there specifically to guide you to find items and look for uh, like hidden secrets Hooper and whatever dead. okay all right. Uh, when I when, the first time I played through this game, which was before my let's play, I actually used the help of a YouTube walkthrough to get through this. It's so a really, call. so yeah, it it just depends on what you prefer and what you would want and what uh, what you would be looking for in a playthrough that you're going to be using for the first time. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I'm I, I'm not as familiar with Thousand Year Door as I am with this one, but I I know generally what happens. Oh, um, is this the start of a? It's the letter Sorry. chain. It gives you, uh, I think, Lucky Day or something. I don't think I go through with it, but it's a thing. With the whole thing, but <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah. So it, it, any attack might miss. Pretty lucky. And we rest after w basically r wasting all our flowers, beating up the. Or not wasting, just using up our flowers, beating up the electro blooper. I like how you had just enough for getting all 50 HP. Like, you just had enough to do 50 HP exactly <laughs> when you only had 25 flower points, and you That's, used them all. It's cool. 
it, you, it's really fun when you have the HP, the peekaboo badge. You can know when you're close enough to just kill pe enemies just barely. I don't know what I'm equipping badges for. Okay, deep focus seems the most valuable one to me, in case I use focus. But we rested, because we're going to move on in the sewers. Yep. I, I think I do Mark. use pa power bomb today. Wait, 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 I don't think we have to go to the sewers to get to the next chapter. Well, why wouldn't we? Yeah, isn't there a section in Toad Town you can just, like, go through from the actual town to get to Chapter 3? Yeah. Yeah? Well, why? Okay. But why not go on side quests? World's in a minute oh. peril. <laughs> okay. So, screw saving the world for now. We're supposed to go out and do other things while saving the world. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah oh. I will... Yeah, I will admit, like, um, when I actually let's play Final Fantasy IV, I missed a lot of side quests. So that's why one reason why that playthrough went went so fast. You just gave Mario tetanus. Way to go! Yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll get over it. That's the thing about it. It's pain. that's the thing about getting pain like that. You do get over it, and you kind of have to put up with it. He's got HP. He'll get over it. It's not like one hit will kill him. Or will it? No, one hit will not kill me. I think only Bowser could do that. Final Bowser could do that at this point. I th There are several others that can do one hit kills. If your HP is low enough. I meant as my HP is right now. I have 15 HP. Yeah, um, isn't there something in the Shy Guy world that can oh, do wait, that? Oh, wait, no, 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 there's, there's, there's two things that could do it. It's not what you're thinking, though. The, the Amazy Daisy. Actually. Not, yeah. Does 20. And Bowser. Bowser can do 15. But that's if you let him. Yeah, you probably shouldn't let him do that, then. I know. And we're gonna super rank Gumbaria because... Why not? Yeah. Into the pipe. Although there is a badge we, I kind of want. I, I, there is something I really want here. It's a badge. Before... We, we do something else, another side quest. Okay. Um, I think it's in this room. Okay. You know, now that I think about it, it's it kind of sucks, actually, how useless Gumbario is. It, yeah. Especially if it's your second playthrough. It's, he's absolutely worthless. The only time I ever... Okay, he's good for an extra hit before you get anyone else. And he's okay on the blooper if you want to fight the blooper or the first blooper early. But that's about it. See, the, the problem with Goombario is he uses the exact same attack style as Mario. Without all the badge boat buffs. So it really is just a second attack from Mario. It's, and it's only point. a jump. So, Mario can already do that type of attack. So, why use... Oh, also, those guys are immune to explosions. Buzzy Beetles. So, I can't just explode... Well, when, when they're on their... When they're normal, like, they're... When they're flipped over, you can blow them up all you want, but... When they're... That's, that's when you actually flip them over, though. Yeah, when you flip them over, you can blow them up, but when they're, like, when they're normal, you can't. I'm just gonna blow this guy up, because I just want to kill him, I think. Mash that A button! Can't wait until we get the tilt attacks. Actually. The witch, the witch attacks? The one where you press right left on the control stick repeatedly. Oh, right. I am very good. I, I, after... Figuring out a trick with it, 
in real life, I actually mastered them. You're about to get that rather relatively soon, though, aren't you? Yeah. But Gumbario does one other thing well. Actually, I should mention. Actually, there are there's an, there's three use there's three uses for Gumbario. Actually. Well, line them out so that we know we all he has know. The, um, he there's the ones we mentioned of just because you get him early. Um, there's uh, multi bonk, which is the power bounce, which is basically power bounce. And the last one is he actually ties for the highest amount of damage without flowers on an enemy with no defense. With no defense, though. And you don't run into that a lot. You run into it enough. But he actually ties. The problem is he actually ties for the highest. On an enemy with no defense. What am I doing? Um, oh yeah, I, I know what I'm doing in here. Okay. I'm delivering a letter to get a star piece. Star piece. Yay, star piece. Gotta yeah, double those star pieces again. Star pieces from Super Mario RPG. What am I doing? You're doing a lot of things. You're probably going. Oh, looks like you're. Oh. I'm actually continuing the trade quest. I don't. I know I don't finish it. This is the weird thing, because it's never on the way. Okay. They want to go on a fishing trip. I never bothered to like, actually know what the what the whole story was behind uh, trading between characters. Like, what's the story behind that? Like, who's telling who this, or what's what's the reason behind their words behind this letter? I got a letter. Yeah. No, nobody ever pays enough trip. attention. Nobody ever pays enough attention to that kind of thing. Oh yeah, I also reveal that there's a back. There's a back to the board where there's like graffiti on the back for the underground news. There's flop side. Underground news, huh? Like if you're gonna do the Koopa Coot. A side quest where you tell him the uh, the news. You have to check the back to do it. What Is that I, your oh, first time showing that off? I think so. And you probably don't actually get to do that, do you? No. Why not do the Why do the Koopa Coot when you can do the Koopa? Everybody, everybody, do the Koopa flop. Oh, and th part of the reason I want Power Smash, because our hammer is stronger right now than our jumps. I actually now. like... I like how the hammer gets stronger earlier. Because it gives you more reasons to use it. Because jumps are generally better. Okay. Yeah, when you actually think about it, hammer only raises an attack by one when you use it, and then you super jump. Uh, the jump raises up by one per hit. So with the jump, you're getting two plus two attack for oh, each yeah. pair of shoes. Yeah, look at my mistakes. Woohoo! <laughs> ah, that was a nice nap. I need another one. Oh, that was a nice nap. Do we need one more? I think we need one more. <laughs> Because uh, you know what we're gonna, I'm gonna do next. Who was the guess on what I'm gonna do next? Actually, something I'm gonna, I want to say. The funny thing is, I always love how the character stays back behind the door to make sure the door is shut before they catch up to you while you're running away, going and doing things. What am I doing? Okay, if you guessed that he was that Mark was doing random shit, you're doing, you're right. Or, excuse me. Mm. I know what happens next. What am I doing? 
Just go to it, do it, self. I know I'm ultra paranoid, Ch I triple check my badges for everything. <laughs> and then you move on. After after a whole moment of worrying and whatever, you Well, finally... actually, um, now that we have the Power Smash and the Super Hammer, we're strong enough to take on the Master! Kubator! Kaboom! Boom! You, you don't even use with body slam, you just go straight for the bomb. Yeah. That hits like a ton of bricks. And it's more fun to do them when they're actually a threat. Cause you, you, I could just wait till like, before chapter 8 and just do all of them. But why? So, I already cheesed what'd be the, the... What'd be the point of that? Yeah, I, I actually do the first two right off the bat. As soon as you can, because you can just flip the first two enemies. Repeatedly, and that... To death. But this guy is a little too tough for us right off the bat. What is he actually is he doing to Mario? I'm gonna hit you so hard with my fist! No, what's he- no, what's he doing? It's like, is he like hitting a pressure point or something? Like, clasping uh, a pressure uh, point? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's just doing an old man punch, which apparently does 5 HP each time. Am I defending it too? I think you are, each time. So, if I have damage dodge on, that's like... S I don't think I have damage dodge on. No, you don't. Okay. So, it's six, normally. HP plus, uh, or, or peekaboo, is part of why I knew what to do there. That was pretty close, though. And I'm the third degree. But we're no match for the ma Master Round 2 right now. Yeah, spoilers, the Master would ch challenge you again. If you really want to. But he's a lot tougher. Oh, yeah. And now we want to boost flowers and put on... Put on to down pound or quake hammer, self. Self. Or both. A, a lot. A lot. A lot of uh, what's going on here is a bunch of uh, a bunch of badge manipulation. Yeah. Oh yeah, about that third nap. Let's go ahead and take that third nap now. <laughs> it's like Pokemon. You get free ins. There, there should not have been a reason that they should have charged you in Thousand Year Door. They really sh there really shouldn't have been a reason they charged you money. They didn't know you were saving the world in that one. Uh, yeah, that's true. In this one, they, this one they should offer you for free because they know you're saving the world again. Oh, it's Mario. He lives here. He saves us on a regular basis. Or, <laughs> are, we the going, are, we, are you going back to get take a fourth nap? No, I hit the tree. Oh, and now... Gold, you wanted to see progress? Here's progress. Oh, yeah. I, okay, I sense it now. <laughs> right at the very end of, this, of the video. Yep. I, basically, I, I... Don't look for a chapter 3, because I end the video right before it. Oh, uh, I already sensed it coming. <laughs> you see a ghost? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. You're crazy. What happened? To, what about a third-person vision? Mario in third person. Now you're screwing my head here. I love the but, fourth wall breaks in Paper Mario sometimes. Yeah, they do that a lot in Thousand Year Door, didn't they? And gold. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh, we have like a we have less a little less than a minute. Oop! Actually, yeah, we have about we have about thirty-five we, seconds left. <laughs> Yeah, we here we have a moment to see that Bootler has a master, and we should see her. Him. Totally him. Totally a master. And master's a him, mistress is a her. The Forever Forest. It's gonna take forever for us to get through it. Next time!
Yep. Or will it take forever? Well, whatever it is, well, we'll find out because we will catch you back next time. Later, folks. Otherwise, he'll get us.